blue button, blue button, where is the blue button and what does it do? Hi, this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. Well, if you're not aware of the Medicare blue button, it's only been around for about eight years. Where have you been? Um, this is something that, as I said, it's been around for a long time. It used to be when you would go to Medicare.gov and uh, especially if you were going to log into your My Medicare account, then you would see a little bar over on the side or a little notice. Uh, I think it had a picture of a blue button in it. And it said, you know, download My Blue Button. And there was some explanation on it about it and so forth. I think there might have even been a video. I don't recall. Uh, when I went on Medicare five years ago, I looked at that and I didn't like it, to be quite honest. There was a lot of reasons why I just felt like, okay, the idea was, conceptually, the idea was great. Rather than, uh, if, if you go to multiple doctors, rather than saying, well, I also see Dr. Welby and I see Dr. Kildare uh, and I see a couple of other doctors as well and well, I have no idea what they're prescribing me. I'm not really sure what it's for, but, um, you know, the idea really was to give you the opportunity, you the patient, Medicare beneficiary, the opportunity to carry around on your phone all of your medical history that you could share with your doctor. Now, you had the, the ability to print it out in a PDF file and hand it to your doctor, uh, or you could uh, hand your phone to the doctor and say, here, just you know, look, and, and you can see, here's all my medical history, my medication, and all my stuff and everything. Like I said, it wasn't real helpful, and beyond that, it uh, it really didn't import a lot of information that Medicare had on you, which in a way was good. Uh, you had to enter in your preferred provider and a bunch of other stuff. So, like I said, I wasn't real impressed with it, and I never did anything with it. Well, 2020 is upon us, and we not only have a new Medicare plan finder, and I've got another video on that, yeah, uh, but now Medicare has decided to completely embrace the blue button concept, the blue button app. As I said, there used to be, as far as I know, there was only one blue button app. There was, uh, there was actually, a, there was a uh, an Android uh, application and there was an iOS, Apple application. Those were the only two, as far as I'm, I'm aware of. Now there are something like two dozen apps. The Blue Button app, the people who originally created this thing about eight years ago, as far as I know, doesn't even exist anymore, which is, is really good, of course. But there are about 20 different apps out there currently. Now, this is September of 2019. Depending on when you're watching this, there could be 50, there could be hundreds, who knows, of Blue Button apps out there. Carriers have them, some hospitals have them, there's a few other medical providers, and there's people who have no idea who they are, but they're producing blue button apps too, and that's a little bit scary. The, uh, the idea is, again, that you would put this app on your phone, and you could download, uh, you could have access to, and you could download and view uh, three years worth of Medicare medical history. Your doctors, the doctor visits, the claims, the drug information, and so forth. Well, that's a lot of information that you're accessing on your phone. And the good news is you don't have to log in each time. <laughs> so anybody that gets your phone uh, you know, can say, oh, let's look at the blue button and let's see what Bob has, you know, see what he's taken and who he sees and all this kind of stuff. Somehow this just doesn't seem, that doesn't seem to me to be a, a real good idea, especially with medical identity being a bigger fraud 
uh, problem than credit card theft. Medical identity theft is huge and for a lot of different reasons, but we're not going to get into that. But the other thing is anybody who knows anything at all about security, internet security will know that apps are incredibly insecure. Uh, there, as a matter of fact, uh, Google Play Store kicked off, I don't know how many apps. They said, no, we're not going to allow these apps to be downloaded from the Play Store. <laughs> Even some of them have been on there for years because they discovered that these apps that had been supposedly reviewed by Google and given the seal of approval, that these apps have the ability to inject malware onto your phone. Lovely. Uh, and one of the problems with apps is that they're, in, in addition to having security issues, vulnerability issues, they're often not updated very often. So if let's just say that you download a Blue Button app today from Humana, I don't know. Uh, and Humana just never gets around to updating their app. Well, you know, so you go back and you use it in six months, you use it a year from now, you use it two years from now. How do you know that it's secure? You don't. There's just a lot of, a lot of challenges here and a lot of things that the folks in D.C. just really didn't think through. You know, again, the idea is that you've got information that you can share with various doctors so that hopefully they won't prescribe something for you that will uh, have a reaction to uh, another medication or cause a reaction to another medication that you're taking. Also, they'll be able to find out if you're doctor shopping. <laughs> You know, so like I said, there's some good things to it, but uh, this blue button is, is, in my opinion, it is a nightmare waiting to happen. But this is what they want you to use, and they want you to use it in conjunction with your new Medicare plan finder. Uh, isn't this fun? Well, this is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgian Medicare Medic. You take care and have a great day.